Alright everybody, welcome back to Umi Neko When They Cry. We're back in this visual novel again for the second time. Um, last time I played this game was actually, you can see here in this last save on the 31st of uh, October. Right, because I played this game in Halloween, I remember now. 7 p.m. Funnily enough, I'm also recording this at uh, 7 p.m. I, I can show you guys that in a second. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I la last did a Yumineko video. And the reason why is because when I had the time to record videos, I was focusing on finishing Final Fantasy X, which I did. I finished it, like, over a month ago. And, uh, I you know, I just need to... Uh, edit it and upload it and when by the time I was done but with Final Fantasy X exam period started so I had this whole three weeks uh, the last three weeks I've just been spending on studying for exams and stuff and I just got done not with my last exam but my last exam until January so yeah I have an exam in January it's dumb as hell it's because of the coronavirus but anyway um, that's that's basically the, the reason why I haven't done any Umineko videos, but this has been uh, the most requested, I'm gonna say, series on my channel. I uploaded the first part, and it, it really it got a, 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 such a good reception, and I, I've I've really wanted to to make a second second video of this because um, I I just got I just got a lot a lot of a. Uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. I got, it's been one. It's one of my most viewed videos somehow. So, hey, I'm here again. Uh, this visual novel, I'm barely into. I've barely played this game. I think for like an hour, but I'm spending most of it or two hours, maybe. I don't know. But I was mostly messing with it. Um, and I vaguely remember what happened. I mean, it's been a month <laughs> since I last played, but. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get in right into this. I don't want to waste you guys' time too much here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll try to get more Umineko videos out out there. Um, once my last exam is done, I'll have more time to record, obviously. And uh, yeah, should be good. Should be good. I'm having fun so far. Well, you know, still to start, still take care in introductions for the most part. So. Let's see, yeah, as you can tell, prologue. We're st still at episode one. All right, let's let's go. Let's load it up. Ooh, I like the, like the opening of the curtains. Always nice. Ah, this mm -hmm. music, I remember it. So, okay, Ushiro Mia Rudolph. Uh, I, I don't think I 100% remember everything that happened. Uh, Last uh, po last last video did my first um, uh, do my first part of this. Um, thankfully, I, sh I I'm gonna try to focus on just this game from here on out, simply because of how uh, how how popped how uh, uh, how many people wanted me to do another one, or I guess do more of this series. Um, so I should be able to remember stuff as I go here. But Ishiro Mia Rudolph. Pretty sure, yeah, this guy's the main character's uh, dad, which I remember the main character's name was Ishiromiya Battler, because I found that so, so fun, so funny. Uh, but he also had like a stepmom or something. Yeah, he had a stepmom that he didn't want to have like super co close relations with, because, um... oh, it was something along the lines of she became his stepmom when he was really, really old, like 15 or whatever. And he didn't want to have an awkward relationship with her, so he just they, they just act like they're acquaintances. They don't act like they're actually family, even though she is this guy's uh, this guy's uh, current girlfriend or wife, whatever. Uh, we also saw a bunch of other members. We saw his uncle, aunt, and a bunch of other peeps. We also learned that I think, if I remember correctly, he hasn't met his family in like six years or something, something along those lines. Hopefully, the game refreshes me a bit. I mean, we can check his. Yeah, there we go. You can also see, yeah, I'm recording this on the 14th of December. I might, I might upload this on, like, the 25th of December. It's like a, it's like a, um, 
a, a Christmas like special thing. I don't know. And as you can see, yeah, I am recording uh, uh, on 7 p.m. So for uh, for anyone wondering, like I wasn't I wasn't lying earlier when I said I was recording at 7 p.m. <laughs> Now, but for you, uh, I wanted to check out... I guess we can check out characters. Right, right, yeah. Let's check out the characters and l let's get a little bit of a uh, rundown. Because it's been a month. Uh, you know, you guys might be watching this right after I... Right after watching the first one. I'm sorry for that. But just for my sake, tr let's try to remember everything. So we got the main character, MC, Ushiro Mia Bla Battler. The son of Rudolf and his wife Osumu, right? Because this girl is not, it's not uh, his first wife, right? That's his like second wife, or third, I don't know. I don't know which number it is. Uh, turned against his father six years ago when he married a second wife immediately after Osumu passed on. Ah, is th is that why he hasn't met the rest of his family in six years? Good, good, I have some good memory. That I, the fact that I remember that it's been six years. <laughs> That's one of the few things I remember though. Um, he went to live with his grandparents on the on his mother's side, right, right, and he just left the rest of the Ushiromiya family to dust. <laughs> However, both of these grandparents passed away, and he has now returned to the Ushiromiya family after six years. Ah, that's why they're doing this entire meetup. The family conference is a chance for him to renew his friendship with his cousins uh, cousins after a six year gap. Got it. Got it, he's got a bunch of cousins. So this is his current stepmom, but you know, he doesn't see her as his mom because he doesn't want to make it awkward. Rudolph's second wife, okay, second wife, got it. They had been business partners for a considerable length of time before the passing of his first wife, at which time she openly took the position. Served as Rudolph's right hand in several shady pieces of business, guiding them to success. Quick thinking and deeply trusted by her husband. Nice. This is his brother, right? George! Eva and Hideyoshi's son. Is this even Hideyoshi? Okay, okay, okay. So this is like his cousin. Got it. Uh, an F... Right! I called him brother. Is he, that's not his brother, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's his cousin. Got it, got it, got it. My bad, my bad. An affable young man liked by everyone in the family. Oh yeah? Okay. He's currently studying as an assistant for his father's company and it seems he dreams of making it on his own one day. The oldest of the four cousins, he acts as the leader and arbitrator. Oh, so there's four cousins in this family. This is one and this is two. And this guy's the oldest. Got it, got it, okay. Now we got Hideyoshi. Not Sawada this time. This guy's Ushiromiya. <laughs> That's like Kerekyo Hidden Reborn reference for anyone who hasn't heard of that. I doubt many people have because it's very... Uh, un underwatched? Is that a word? Underwatched? I'm, I'm not gonna say underrated because I don't think I'm, I'm, I won't say underrated more like underwatched. Not many people have heard of it necessarily eh, It's Yeah, I mean for a shonen it's not that popular. Anyway, uh, Eva's husband took his wife's name upon their marriage and was welcomed, welcomed into the Ushiromiya family Oh, so this guy isn't the proper proper Ushiromiya. What can I do this? What are these arrows for? Oh, this is for more like oh does it exist for anyone else? Nope, this guy's the first guy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, therefore, he does not possess the spiteful Yushiromiya <laughs> jeans. Spiteful. And his bright smile is very refreshing at the family conferences. He started his business from scratch and now works as the president of a company operating medium-sized restaurant chains. Uh, apparently, business is soaring and things are going extremely well. Congrats, man. Congrats. So this is Eva. This is the actual Yushiromiya. And she's holding the thing... This. I don't even know what that, that's called. It's like, you know, classic, classic like uh, I don't know, middle-aged woman ha 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 thing. In uh, at the very least in anime, I don't know how they do it in Japan, but in anime this is a classic. Uh, Kinzo's second child. Kinzo, wait, is K Kinzo? Wait a minute, isn't Kinzo? Wait. Oh, wait, isn't, isn't Kinto that old man in the first, like, part? I, I, I gotta remember his name. <laughs> I gotta remember these names. It's been a month. I think so. I think she's the daughter. She might be the daughter of the old guy. The guy who was, like, 
I think Beatrice was her name. I remember her because she has the same name as Beatrice from ReZero. Uh, he was on the screen, Beatrice! I think that was Kinzo, right? And he was like, uh, and he also was very adamant about not passing anything on to his children. Okay. Hostile towards her brother Cross and opposes him in almost everything. From issues dealing with the family fortune to the question of who will succeed the family headship. Uh, normally she would have lost her place in the Ushume register upon her marriage, but she managed to forcibly overcome this by having her husband take her family name. Let's go! She, she did well. But why is she hostile towards the brother? Aww. Okay. Oh man. Okay, let's see. Anyone? We don't have anyone else? No, okay, not yet at least. I'm sure there's more characters to go. Oh, I guess this is how they connect. Right? I'm guessing this is how they connect. Like the, the, the cousins. Yeah. Maybe. Sure. Let's exit for now. We've got a real, little, little rundown on the characters. Uh, I think we also have tips. What are our tips again? Oh, yeah, we got this grimoire. And yeah, we can, you know, learn about a bunch of stuff. I think we learned this last part, so I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I don't want to waste you guys' time. <laughs> I'll actually get to uh, to more of the story here. I don't think we got anything else. Wait, box. What's this? Right, this is just what they were talking about. Got it. Alright, but then let's, let's just get right back into this. His dad, Rudolph. Hmm? Battler. Battler. <laughs> That's our MC. Hey, what's up, Dad? Ow! Oh, did he step on his on his foot? <laughs> Is that what just happened? Oh! Don't pitch my ear, Gav! <laughs> what, how, how, what the hell? He does not look like he's pinching your ear, man. I, I, I don't see any ear pinching right now. Right, it's fine, it's fine. You know, they, 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 they don't have the budget for that, you know? They don't have the budget for that, you know? It's, it's like... I get it, they have to draw, they have to draw his whole character just to, just to show him pinching uh, Battler's ear. Yeah, they, they, too much effort, I get it. I know, I get it, I get it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long time to draw. So, you've been talking trash about me with mom again, haven't you? What makes it so hard to show a little respect for your father? Mm. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I've decided, uh, I don't know if I said this last uh, last part or not, but I've decided to um, to read what they're saying, because they, obviously they speak in Japanese, but to read what they're saying as they're saying, the thing that they're saying. God damn, I didn't have to, I have to say that like that. Uh, but I'll let them talk to the, to, to the end, just so that, you know, I give them time to, to say their piece. I give the voice actors their time to... To show off their skills, you know. <laughs> Damn it, that hurts, you old bastard. Stretch my ear all you want. I'm still not gonna be able to fly. <laughs> fly? What? Why sh what should you fly? Come on now. Right, I don't think I have to commentate over that. <laughs> I think we get the point. Now say, Father, please forgive me for being so rude. Hell, I will. Go find yourself some members only story if you want it that much. <laughs> Let go! Now you're gonna fly soon, bro. Just like you mentioned earlier, you're gonna fly. Trust. This old bastard is my dad. Wow, crazy, yeah. He seems very, very full of him, full of himself. I think you're pretty tall, but that's about the same height. Okay, so is he gonna flex it like you were flexing it, I think? It's probably no surprise that Auntie Eva started talking about dad's blood when she saw my height. Hmm. By the way, my height isn't the only thing I got from him. What else did you get from him? It seems having weird names runs in the family. Right, Ushiro Mia. Is that it? Is that all you got from your dad? Really? I don't know about you guys, but I've got more from my dad than height and name. Weird. I guess he's not on good terms with him. Hmm. Ah, yeah. That's full name is written. 
Uh, I am. I can't read this. I think this is Ushiromiya, maybe, and this is his name, which I think is Rudolf. Can you read it? Uh, I'm, 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 of course not. I cannot read Japanese. Um, sorry. Not many could. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, so tell me, even Japanese people struggle reading that? Sure. That mess of characters is pronounced Rudolf. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He must hate Grandfather for giving him that name. Grandfather. Oh, right. Is Grandfather Kinzo? Is that Grandfather Kinzo? Because this guy and Auntie Eva that he was talking about are, are siblings. Hmm? Still, that's no reason to pass that weird naming tradition on to me. <laughs> Battler. There's, there's the Auntie with her thing. I think. After this, I'm gonna Google what the hell this thing's called. Uh, as the old bastard twisted my ear all over the place, Auntie Eva snuck up behind him and grabbed his ear. Aha! Revenge! Well, she grabbed his ear with this thing. <laughs> hey, Rudolph! She said it best. She said it best. Don't take your frustrations, frustrations out on your chat, kid. I almost said child. Well, I guess it's. The same thing. Yeah, that hurts, Aneki. So I'm pretty sure Aneki in Japanese is like sister or some form of like little sister slash little sibling type of word. Just like Aniki, etc. Uh, the scene before me was a perfect realization of the trope of the older sister who deals out punishment to her prankster younger brother despite his size. Right, so he's the, actually the younger brother here. Ishigomiya Kairi. Kairi, that's her name. Uh, I think that's good enough for now, Ivanessa. I'll make sure to stretch out his other ear later on. Come on now, game. His other ear? Come on now, game. <laughs> okay. Oh! My apologies. Make sure you stretch it out. So. Yeah. I've actually, I've actually never seen one of these here here in Norway. I don't, I don't even. They probably do exist. I've never seen anyone use this. Anyone, L literally never. I've I've seen them before, maybe when I've gone on holidays. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Are they actually effective? Do they actually like properly? I mean, I guess they are if people use them and buy them. I don't know. But do they actually like blow wind properly? Like cools you off? It's actually a bit hot in my room. Not that hot. Like I can it's not like hotter point where I'm sweating but like it's like you know when it's like a little bit here it's like you, you want you could, you could have it be a little bit colder and that'll be perfect temperature like perfect room temperature. Yeah so maybe one of these would have helped me out right now. Who knows? I must leave some pulling for you to do, Kairi-san. Rudolph. Dude, they're saying it best. I don't even have to voice act. The voice actors and are, are so impressive. Make sure Kairi-san gives you lots and lots of punishment later on, alright? I don't want to talk, Kaneki. Pulling your little brother like that. Hideyoshi Nisan, I'd like to thank you very much for picking her up. If you hadn't been so generous, she'd still be unsold in the store. Wait, he, well, right, Hideyoshi is the. Ho I'm like, wait, I th I, why are you calling your wife Hideyoshi? Got it. Hideyoshi is the, uh, the husband of, uh, of his, his older sister. I'd like to thank you very much for help uh, for picking her up. If you hadn't been so generous, you'd still be unsold in the store. <laughs> you have my gratitude and apologies. Mm, now, sh now she's gotten angry. Who are you calling an unsold? After taking two or three steps back, Auntie even leashed one of her beautiful high reverse roundhouse kicks, which stopped just a centimeter away from the tip of Dad's nose. Whoa! She's got acrobatics and everything. After starting out with Taichi Chuan for her figure, I hope I said that correctly, uh, Auntie Eva had then developed an interest in the Chinese martial arts. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's Eva or Eva. 
I know in Monster it was Eva. So maybe it's following the same name tradition, like Germany type style. I'm gonna go with Eva. I could be wrong. Uh, right, Chinese martial arts, okay. After that, she went through Karate, Taekwondo, whoa, Capoeira, I, don't, I have no idea to pronounce that one. And what is it, she's learning now again? I don't know. What have you not mentioned, Karate, Taekwondo, Capoeira? I don't know. Freaking uh, ninja, she's sick, what the hell? Well, anyway, they say a woman's weapons are in her lower body, and that's literally true for Auntie Eva. Okay, well, what the hell, man? She she literally went through all that training to learn Taekwondo, Taekwondo, Capoeira, Karate, Chinese martial arts. Literally gone through all that. Just for you. To say that her deadliest weapon, or uh, that her, 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 like, her basic weapon is in her lower body. Come on, man. Give her more credit than that. They give all women more credit than that. What the frick, man? <laughs> well, you can kick it again. Do your do some capoeira. <laughs> I still don't know what that is or how to pronounce that. I should stop saying it. <laughs> Did you know that a single direct blow to the side of the head like that would knock you unconscious? <laughs> Damn. She means business, unconscious. Not so long ago, I accidentally connected in a practice match, and my opponent was out cold. <laughs> Sheesh, what a pain. Yeah, you do not want to get kicked by that. Guess I have to apologize for her tendency to lash out with her feet too. That completely unfazed, shrugged and smiled ironically at Uncle Hideyoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a brother or sister myself. You, you haven't? Oh, okay. Well, lone success, I guess. You know, you know, CEO of a company and everything. Let's go. So, when I see you two bickering with each other, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Hey, nice one, man. It sure is nice to have a big family and siblings. Hey, now you two have siblings in the form of this whole Ishiro Mia family business. Ara! <laughs> then why not consider making a little brother for George? Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I mean, if he's up for it right now, I mean, George guy is pretty, he's pretty old by this point, so a little brother will be like, what, like 20? How old is George? 20? So his little brother will be like 20 years younger? I mean... Wow. He's already a fine adult, he's about to go off on his own. So it might be a good time to have another child. <laughs> her, her mindset is, alright, let's have a kid, wait for him to be 18, right, so they're independent, then let's have another kid. Take, take them one at a time! <laughs> one at a time, one at a time! <laughs> but, then, but then they'll have like, they'll have like two or three kids, and she'll be like 60, and then she'll be like, Damn, I'm too old to have kids now. No, literally, my my body can't can't, can't handle anymore. Frick, dude. We should we should we should have had more kids when we had the time. Why did we hit 18 years twice? That's 36 years down the drain. God damn it. Oi, oi, kiri. Hey, have a little sympathy for the new kid and all the pain and suffering he'd have have to live through. <laughs> I'm surprised even George can turn out as well as he did after being born from this sinister sister of mine. Yikes, these guys. They're throwing dabs at each other, bro. What the? Is this normal for families? I feel like me and my family, like... I don't know, I guess it's mostly like sarcasm, like haha, joking around with each other. Which, yeah, sure, that's the case for every family, but... Especially, like... The weird, like, oh yeah, you know, have a, you know, I don't know, like, oh yeah, her biggest, her biggest weapon is in her lower body or whatever. Like, what the frick? Or, or the jokes they were making earlier about, he was making earlier with her while he, this guy was in the bathroom. That's just messed up. That can't be normal. I've said this before last part. That cannot, this cannot be normal. This is not a normal family, bro. 
care of them. And what an awesome kid he is. Yeah, if only your kid Battler was better. <clears throat> Please share some of that with our block head of a son someday, will ya? <laughs> yeah, I said, I, said, I said it first though, Rudolph. I said it before you did. Yeah, shut up, exactly. That's not how it worked. It's thanks to Evanescence's perfect reading that George Kim became the good, gentle kid he is now. So whose fault is it that Battler or me or the main character isn't the good, gentle kid now? It's not right, Nesan, sister. Whatever. Oh, ara, ara. Come on now, hey, you think so? Do kashira. Oh, George still has a long way to go. Ah, by the way, how's the little Anji Chan doing? Anji Chan? Is that her sister or something? I don't know. This is a new new character. I heard she was vomiting. Oh, wow. That's rough. Oh, that's right. I was hoping to finally see her face after such a long time. Anji. Is she alright? Uh, she often catches a cold when the seasons change. Oh. That's, oh, that's that's bad. She's very frail. Oh well. Hope she gets better. I didn't want to bring her along, but we decided to have my family look after her this time. Okay. I think that's a wise move. So who is this Anji? Is she like... How, how is she related to... Is she related to her, I'm guessing? And not to the Ushiromiya peeps, I guess? Maybe? Hmm. She'll be on the man fast if she's not exposed to the, that toxic head house. <laughs> toxic head house. Ugh. A child's health is always more important than an adult's convenience. Don't you think? Um, well, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think health is mostly always, in general, more important than convenience. But, I get, if co convenience also helps with health, so... Yeah? I know some great medicine for vomiting, colds like that. When you get back home, I'll send it over right away, so be sure to give her some. Thank you very much, Hideyoshi. I'm always in your debt. Once the conversation suddenly veered off in that direction, we kids didn't have any chance of butting in. <laughs> For now, I'm just happy that Auntie Eva gave Dad his just desserts for tugging on my ear. <laughs> Looks like we're still waiting for the weather report. What is this, Jojo? <laughs> yeah, I've been watching part 6, you know, it recently came out. I uh, haven't had the time to binge it until my the sixth recent exam was over, so uh, yeah, I binged all 12 episodes. Jojo, as good as ever. Alright, weather report. <laughs> George Oniki pointed at the counter. The pending weather clearance sign was still stuck next to the scheduled departure time for the flight we were scheduled to board. Ah. According to Aniki, smaller planes are more subject to winds and other effects of the weather. Ah. And you're going, got it. You're going on a smaller plane then to whatever you're going, it is you're going. And it's not, un it's not at, all, at all uncommon for flights to be delayed because of that. Got it. Wait a sec. It isn't really going to shake, is it? From down here on the ground, it just looks cloudy, not windy. Well, I guess it's different up where the planes fly. True. The weather's a bit uncertain today. Auntie Eva was looking at the TV in the lounge. The weather forecast was being broadcast, informing us that a typhoon was approaching the counter region. Is that where we are right now? Where are we going, maybe? Hmm. A typhoon, though. Yeah, that's a big yikes. A typhoon again. Yikes. I guess we're doomed to this, with the family conference being in October every year. <laughs> okay, so... Interesting period of time, October. Damn, would have been better if I continued up recording these back during October. You know, a month ago. 
but yeah, it's December now, so frick, man. Couldn't he choose a better season? Who's he? Is it the Kinzo guy again? It's, I bet it's Kinzo. I agree. I always hoped we could have it sometime around the Obon Festival in mid-August. In, in that case, why don't you suggest that to father and Nissan during the conference? But I thought your dad was dead because Kinzo died? Or have you... I don't know when Kinzo dies. I don't know if it's before or after the events of right now. I'm actually, I actually kind of forgot whether Kinzo was her dad or granddad. That's another thing. <laughs> Who's Nissan? They have another brother or sister? Hmm. I guess that I think Nissan is brother. Hmm. Jordan. Very funny. Why don't you do it yourself? Our brother would never listen to anything I suggested. Oh, way! It doesn't really bother me that much to have it in October. Well, you literally just said you'd rather have it in mid-August, but okay. You really don't want to complain about the typhoon, so I asked them to change it then. Right. That's all. And then you said it, that you preferred it if it was in mid-August. Seems like you want, you want it to be changed as well. I always said that typhoons always come around this time of the year. You're the one who said you wanted to leave it near to Obon. Ooh. Ah. You said it too last year. Didn't you say that it would be easier to fit into your schedule if you had it near Obon? I've never said anything like that. Hey, it hasn't happened in the visual novel yet, so it hasn't happened at all. I'm, I'm, I'm on Rudolph's side. Although, actually, I'm supposed to be Battler, right? Because I'm the MC, so I should be on her side, because this guy's pinching my ear, apparently, so frick that. Oh, yes, you did! I certainly wouldn't forget something like that. No, I didn't. You're the one saying that all the time. Are you aware? Stopping a kick just a hair rest away is a very high level technique. Yeah, get it! You can do karate! Sheesh, women your age should be more proper than that. That an P. Eva's argument looks no different from a couple of brats bickering. I expect that because, although they normally act as mothers and fathers, they turn right back into kids again when they meet their old siblings at these family conferences. Got it. You're the one who looks like a real adult, analyzing it, analyzing it all calmly. <laughs> I hope I never turn out like that old bastard. Oops! Oops. Out of respect for uh, for me accidentally skipping the last slide he was gonna say, sorry, uh, let him speak all the way through that time. Uh, I'd much rather end up as an intellectual adult like you, Aniki. <laughs> like me? Don't be like me. Be your own person, Kimari style. You know Kimari. That's what Kimari said in the office. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I still have a long way to go. Mara, mara. I still have very little experience out there in the real world. I need to work on becoming more bold and sociable. Hmm. I think you're far surpassing all of those counts, Battler-kun. Damn. Hmm. I'm sure you'll, you'll outstrip me fast enough when you become an adult. Damn, this George, George is really humble. <laughs> really humble. George uh, scratched his head and laughed, as though trying to hide his embarrassment. Of course, he was just being humble. Yeah, he, he is humble. Uh, Aniki entered a university and became an apprentice at Uncle Hideyoshi's company at the same time, studying both academics, academics and how to become a business emperor in parallel. Damn! At such a young age too? Yeah, this guy's gonna make it far in life. Then, right after graduating, he got into Uncle Hideyoshi's company as his father's aide, piling up a lot of real-life experience as he devoted himself zealously to his work. So, 
this guy does have a lot of experience. I mean, he says he has a long way to go, but he already has plenty of experience, right? I mean, getting to, to his, his company and everything. God damn. He even has grand dreams of one day standing on his own and becoming lord of his own domain. Right, he did say that. Anik is a real paragon of a man, sparing no effort as he strives towards his goals. It's no exaggeration to say that I really respect him. Fair play. Fair play. And then there's me. I'm a loser. Nah. <laughs> I'm nothing at all like Aniki. I suck. I'm not even out of high school. I'm living my happy-go-lucky idle high school life to the max. Oh my god. I actually guessed correctly he's in high school. Nah, to, to be fair, that, 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 that you, can, you can mostly guess your stuff to that though. I'm not gonna flex it. <laughs> I'm not gonna flex that. I've got no dreams for the future. I'd like to just sit back, stay cool, and let the money flow in. But of course that could never happen. Hey, I feel that, man. I feel that, man. I don't want to... Same here, man. I don't want to be any, anyone special. You know, I just want to sit back. Like, I don't want to... I, I hate taking life too seriously, you know? I've learned, like... One of, one of the things I always do too much is to take life too seriously. I don't want to take it too seriously. Just like... Just like... If I, if I can just be your average, like, oh, run of the guy, right, like, you know, let, I mean, no, I don't want to let the, not let the money flow in, of course, I'll work for the, I'll work for the money, but like, I don't want to be the CEO of a big company and have all these res responsibilities on me and everything. If I can just chill out, have a, have a, you know, live in a house, chill, you know, live up my life happy like that, you know, then I'm good, you know? I let the people who have the drive to have all these responsibilities do all these, you know, important stuffs like, I don't know, becoming the uh, prime minister, for example, or CEO of a company, right? Like, I had a, I had a, well, not necessarily a friend, more like an acquaintance. An acquaintance mom was like the CEO of this, like, garbage uh, company, not, literally garbage company. Like, the company wasn't corporate itself, but the comp but the, uh well, what the company did was like sort out garbage and stuff like that, right? And you know, an acquaintance of mine, his mom was one of those. And it's like, l let people like her, that's what I'm trying to say, let people like her take care of things, uh, you know, the important stuff, you know. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm just here, like, you know, just chilling. Okay, uh, let's keep it going. When Oniki was my age, he had already formed an impressive objective and had started devoting himself towards studying for that goal. So I guess I can't compare at all. My dad just says, Sure, you can study at my company, if you like cleaning toilets. <laughs> Trash. Damn it. I'm not gonna be in the depth of that old bastard. I'll find my way myself. I guess that intensity is my one qualification towards adulthood. Hmm. Should I go on one of those self-searching journeys that all are all the rage these days? Well, it's not like I could mooch off my parents for that kind of money. Hmm? Hmm? Oh! Wow! Hideyoshi is screaming about something. Right then, Uncle Hideyoshi shouted out loudly. Uncle's really a really li nice person on the whole, but he does have a problem controlling the volume of his voice. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know the feeling of a family member who never learns how to control his voice, especially when laughing. And we tell him every time. Lower your volume. You know, think about it. You got peeps around you, and they're like, "Yes, yeah, sorry." And then they do it again. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad to see. When I looked over, I saw that he was greeting Auntie Rosa, who had come late. Who the hell is this now, Auntie Rosa? All right, you got another auntie. Wait, which which one is this now? How many how many children did Kinzo have? I, I'm assuming Kinzo's their, their 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 dad, right? Maybe maybe not. I know um, Eva was talking about. Actually, we, can we check? You might be able to check. Uh, characters. You might be able to check. Kinzo? Oh. Uh, I, don't, I know Kinzo's related to. She was talking about. Kinzo. Yes, he Kinzo's second child. I knew it. Kinzo's their dad. Kinzo's their dad. Third child. Second child. Kinzo's their dad, bro. Kinzo is their dad. Okay. That, that lines the pieces up a bit more. So we can, if I do this, okay, got it. Uh, how do I go back? Oops. Go back. Ah, wait, if I do this and then this, watch this, boom. Easy. 
that's probably not the, the only way to do that, but it's the easiest way. <laughs> uh, Auntie Rosa, who's she? New character? New song! Wow, this guy's excited about meeting this 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 woman, this auntie. If it isn't Rosa-san! He's really excited. Maria-chan, long time no see. I guess Maria might be her daughter. Long time no see. Okay, that's another cousin of mine. <laughs> Ishiro Mia Maria, okay. Woo! Maria? Maria, okay, this is her mom, maybe? Maybe older sister? I don't know. Sh Maria, shouldn't that be... It's good to see you again. Reach your uncle properly. Okay, okay. Daughter. Daughter, mother. Got it, I think. I'm guessing. Uh, it's good to see you again. There you go. Well said. How about some candy as a reward? Huh? Huh? Where did I put him? Ah, oh, you lost your candy? That's bad for trick or treating. It's October over there right now, isn't it? Yeah, Halloween coming up soon. You better not forget your candy. Rosa san, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Maria chan. It's been too long, Kirine san. Hideyoshi ni san. This is Kiri, yeah, got it. And. Oh my! Battler kun? <gasps> my nephew's here? I haven't met you in six years! Look how big you've gotten! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> come on! <laughs> it's embarrassing hearing that from every person I meet. Hey, Rosa! You're late. So is this uh, first or fourth plus child? We still haven't met uh, Kinzo's first child, but I think she might be the... I'm gonna guess fourth child, because this, this guy's the third child. <laughs> and obviously second child is Eva. If the plane was on time, you'd barely have made it. Ooh. I'm sorry. We had some trouble at making our train connection. So we're waiting on the weather yet again? Well, that's expected. I don't complain. I would prefer the 30 minute plane trip to spending 6 hours bouncing about on a boat. Right! Right! They did talk about this last part, about a boat spending 6 hours, but now that they have better technology, they can spend a, they can spend, you know, a plane trip over. 30 minutes, impressive. Even if we're kept waiting here for an hour, it's still much, much, much faster overall. My chance gotten huge too. So, how tall are you now? Mm, 137 centimeters. I don't know. That's that's not a response. Hey, that's. Th I mean, you might not know how tall you are, but don't respond with. Words that, that it sounds that don't make sense. Woo! So, how tall am I now? Well, you should know, shouldn't you? Ask your mom. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maria parroted Uncle Hideyoshi's question, looking up at her mother. Right, so she's kind of like, you know, nudging her mother to, to tell everybody. Like, how tall, tall am I now? Am I, am I 140 centimeters already? I guess she doesn't remember her, her own height. I mean, fair enough. I, to be honest, even right now, I don't know how tall I am. <laughs> Last time I checked how, how tall I was was like when I was 13 or something. Legit, I was I was shorter than I than I am right now. So I actually don't know. I think I was on like I think I was like 170 ish centimeters. Last time I checked, but it's been several years and I've grown taller. So I have no idea where I'm at right now on the scale. Uh, considering I've met people who told me how tall they are uh, and they're around, the, you know, they're around my height, I think I, I'm around 178-ish. I don't think I'm quite 180 centimeters, but I'm like closing in, close. So if, you, if you're American, uh, I think that's like five foot nine maybe, 
five foot ten. I don't, I don't know exact. I don't know exactly. I'm, I think I'm around that height, which is pretty, pretty average. Which I'm, hey, I'm fine with it. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know my own height. Is is the point of what I'm saying? So, eh, I never really care either. <laughs> I never care to actually go check. She's probably right in the middle of a growth spurt, so her height must change every month. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, that's classic. Your height changes very often when you're in, when you're very young. I remember having to uh, buy new clothes literally every year, ever since I was born until recently, actually, because like now, you know, my body's stopped exponentially growing. It feels like now my body's like constant, like okay. You can wear these clothes for years now. You're good. You can wear these shoes for years. <laughs> your, your feet aren't gonna get any larger anytime soon. Or smaller. In just a few more years, she'll probably start looking very feminine. Okay. A bit a bit, a bit of a weird thing to say, in my opinion, but okay. Um, how tall were you last time you got measured? Oh, I think I accidentally skipped her talk she just keeps getting bigger and bigger yeah sure whatever she get she gets bigger cool let's move on <laughs> don't you <laughs> <laughs> I think she's grown a lot since last year let's see she turned nine years old this year didn't she nine years old nine years old so last so she, she definitely doesn't remember me because Six years ago, since I, since I last met my family, she must have been three years old. And uh, from experience, I'll just say this right now, from experience, uh, I have had uh, cousins that I, I haven't met in eight years. That when I met them again, uh, they didn't remember me because they were much younger than I was. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like five years older than some of my cousins. And they were like basically almost babies when I met when I was... Uh, when I was with them and then s several years later they're like well 12 years old and you know now they remember me but back when, they, when I told them hey do you remember me f when I met you eight years ago they were like nah and I just I, I was just like bruh I was like bruh I should have taken videos back when when they were three because then they could have been like see look I could be like see that you yeah, that's you and that's me Eight years ago, I could have done that, but I didn't. God damn it. Well, to be fair, I was too young to think of something that clever. Nine years old, okay. Anyway. Ah. Ah. <laughs> she needs to stop saying that. Where's her mother? T teach her how to not say inaudible sounds. Stop, stop doing that. So That's right, you're nine years old now. Maria-chan to see you doing well too, Maria-chan. Up you. Oh. Oh. Oh no. That is embarrassing and awkward in so many ways. Oh. Because one thing it's like she's too heavy for him. And the other thing is he's not strong enough to carry her at this point. That's big yikes. Yikes, bro. Go, go. Time, to, time to hit the gym, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I guess you've gone a bit too heavy to play your plane with. Exactly. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it's rude in, in two ways. And, like, it's awkward in two ways. One, my man needs to hit the gym, and two, you know, kind of a rude thing to say to the poor girl, right? I mean, she's growing bigger, but, like, bro. Hey, Battler, hey, hey, you do it. You carry her and then show her, like, yeah, don't worry. It's not, it's not on you, don't worry. <laughs> Jeez, what a rude thing to say to a lady, George. Here, I'll do it. Up you go. Don't fail. Please don't fail. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're, but your, your cousin is just a weakling. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. When I went to lift her up in Aniki's place, Maria stiffened defensively, staring suspiciously at my face. Oh, she, she, she doesn't like me. This reminds me of uh, Mushoku Tensei recently when... Uh, Rudy, the main character, met met, uh, <laughs> met his uh, stepsister, technically, yeah. Uh, Aisha, I think her name was. Oh, what's that? Well, 
Is it gonna happen again? Is that just me? Yeah. Anyway, when he met his stepsister again, and she was like very suspicious, suspicious about him. But it, it, everything ended up well in the end. So. Ah, that's right. The last time I met Maria, it was six years ago, and she was only three years old. Exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say she probably doesn't even know who you are. Six years, and she was only three. Of course, you don't remember my face. We still remember who you are, bro. Maria Chan. Mario Chan, don't you remember? Of course not. How are you gonna, how are you gonna expect a three-year-old to remember even a cousin? Like, if they have, if they haven't seen him in six years, of course not. It's Battler. We used to play together, remember? Uh, I don't remember. It's been too long. I'm not to have any luck. The last time she met Bester, she was only three. You don't keep memories at that age. She must know everyone's face apart from mine because she meets them every year. But I've had contact with the Oshiromiya family for about six years now. So it's no surprise that this nine-year-old girl doesn't have any memories of me. Even I can only just barely remember her being a three-year-old crybaby. Maria. Maria. This is Battler cousin. Cousin Battler Oni chan. Sure. Uncle Rudolph's son. Understand? Uncle son is Battler. Just call me Battler because I'm battling. I'm a battler. I'm a fighter. I'm a s I'm a sicko too. Uncle son? Wait, what? What? Okay. Okay, uh, uh, she's having trouble understanding how it all connects. And I've had this too. I've had trouble understanding. So, he, uh, little story time. Sorry for deviating a bit here. Little story time. I've had like trouble saying sometimes like, okay, so my my parents, cousins. Like I've had trouble understanding that. Or like my parents, cousins, like uncle in a way. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Or like I'll have, for example, from my dad's side, my dad's side will have, he'll have, an, he'll have a cousin, and that cousin will have a mother, for example, that isn't related to my dad, and that mother then has a, uh, has, has, uh, has an uncle, and that's what we're talking about. You know, I'll have problems connecting the dots that way, right? This is much easier to connect the dots, but sometimes I'm like confused. Okay, who, how, how is this person related to me? Right, they're related to me through this cousin, through this uncle. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, they're not blood related, but close enough. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll keep it easy, Maria. This is your mother, right? Your mother. Rudolph is her brother. Rudolph has a kid. That kid is me. Okay, Battler. Remember, Maria, that's Battler. Huh? Ah, too much brain power! Ah. Ah, ooh, that's probably the sound of her brain breaking. I'm unable to understand the complicated explanation. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, nah, not fair enough. You're nine years old. What the frick? Get out of here. What? Nine years old? Bro, I was... I'm pretty sure I was like freaking... Yeah, no, no, it's not that complicated. It's really not that complicated. I will say this family is freaking huge. Like the network in the, of this family is huge, but st that's not something that complicated to understand for real. I was doing like s some pretty like decent level like math, as in like when I was when I was nine. I was pretty sure I was doing multiplication stuff. I was working with percentages and stuff when I was nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like there's no way you don't know how c how cousins work. Come on, little girl. What are you doing? How can you raise a girl like this? I guess it was a bit too confusing for her. Bro, if, if, she, if she says 21 as an answer to what's 9 plus 10, I'm blaming her. Hey, I'm blaming her. Too Maria-chan? <laughs> Maria-chan? Yeah, yeah, George, just be like, hey, this guy's like me. He's like me, you know? He's like me. Your cousin. This is battler -kun. He's your cousin, like me, exactly. Just like me. Like George? Okay, that explanation somehow cleared up. Battler? Cousin? Click! You know, you can see like the uh, the light bulb go up 
So, that's right. Okay, so the, I, I feel like they're trying to make her as cute as possible, but it, it ain't gonna work on me. Why is her hair red when her mother's hair is brown? Yeah, exactly. See that? Exactly. Oh, her eyes are purple. You know, in real life, I've never seen anyone's eyes be purple. And her, her mother. Yeah, there. Yeah, what's going on? Who's her dad? Yeah, where, where's her dad at? I, I gotta, we gotta reevaluate. Hmm. They're trying to make her as cute as possible. But I ain't falling for this trap. You got it. This part of Aniki is what makes me really look up to. For someone who isn't married, he's just great at dealing with kids. I'm sure that he'll be an indulgent father in the future. Battler Oni-chan. Okay, so he's good with kids. That's good. Mario looked straight at me with a questioning expression, as still asking whether it was alright to call me that. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> That's me, battler! <laughs> nice to meet you, Mar Maria. <sighs> battler! Alright, now we're gonna introduce me to the rest of the family. If we've met Maria now, introduce me to... I'm sure this guy's got more uncles and, and aunts and stuff. I'm sure of it. The, the Kinzo guy went to town. Maria! You must not dress him without hor honorifics. Call him Battler Oni-chan. <laughs> right, so that's a big thing of obviously in Japan. Much more so than it is over here. Here we just go like first name to everyone. Yeah, no formalities. No, not not even to teachers. Not to anyone older than us. Yeah, yeah your first name. That's it. You're done. Uh, I know in Germany, for example, it's very different. It's cool, Auntie Rosa. I don't expect the small stuff. Right, Maria. We're buddies on a first time, on a first name basis, Austin, aren't we? Battler, Battler, Battler! Of course, my voice isn't as cute as hers, but you, you get the point. <laughs> That's Maria, right, Maria Maria, 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 Maria! See, I can replicate th his voice much better, because, uh, you know, we're more similar overall, both in age and in uh, in gender, which, you know, uh, helps with the voice, the voice matching. So, that's another thing. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, what the frick? We ho horsed around for a while to make up for the six-year gap in our friendship. Ah, uh, okay, I'm, I'm glad you two made up real quick. She probably still thinks of me as nothing more than a big new friend, but things will probably work out as we, go as we get to know each other again. But I'm surprised. She's just the way I remembered her being six years ago. Seems that people just don't change that much after all. I'm a bit happy that she's still pure, the pure innocent girl I remember. Her name is written. Yeah, that. And uh, that one's not too difficult. So difficult to read. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I could read Japanese, I'm sure you, you're, you'll be right. But I can't, unfortunately. Of course, it says Maria. Oh yeah. I mean, I can't <laughs> guess myself to that. <laughs> the third character looks like a cross, which is pretty cool. The third, oh yeah. That's a cool symbol, you know. Like two lines and then like a cross. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay. It's cool. Um, her feelings don't usually show up on her face, so it can be difficult to know just what she's thinking. But just that's just uh, how she looks on the outside. On the inside, she's just a sweet, normal girl. All right. Then there's Mario's mother, Auntie Rosa. She's my dad's younger sister. Younger sister! She, she, she's the fourth child. I knew it. I didn't know it, but I guessed it. She might be the fifth child or something. Who knows? That Kinzo guy might have even more, uh, even more children. Rosa is written... I guess that's Rosa. Auntie Rosa or Ushiromi. That's not, it's not Ushiromi, but it's Rosa. Got it. Here's a name that's totally not Japanese. Yeah. Sorry to say it, but her name's almost as ridiculous as that. Yikes! I've got to respect her for not ending up screwed up as he is. <laughs> when I think about it, all the names in my family sound foreign. Hmm. 
Just why is grandfather so obsessed with this? <laughs> you, your grandfather is just creating his own game with his children and grandchildren. <laughs> his Kinzo, right? Yeah, that guy. Hmm. Because of him, even his grandchildren have to put up with this weird naming sense. It's even more annoying since grandfather's own name is perfectly normal. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway, there's one thing about an Auntie Rosa that's a relief compared to your other family members. Yo, Bastard and Auntie Eva have this annoying urge to tease and mock people all the time. But even though she shares their blood, Auntie Rosa isn't like that at all. Yeah, I, ca I kinda noticed that actually. She has the most common sense among all the, all the siblings. Oh, sweet. Is that all the siblings? All the Ushiroma, pe Ushiroma peeps? Somehow I find that hard to believe. <laughs> like Uncle Hideyoshi, she's a kind aunt who'll always be on the kid's side. However, possibly because she's more strict as a parent, she's not liberal with ha handing out spending money like Uncle Hideyoshi is. Got it. Alright, we're still in this place. <laughs> we're still in this place. Are we gonna spend the entire party just in this, well, like, uh, airport? Now we have the entire group of family members who are going to board the plane. Right! The, the current. So you ha do have more family members. The Ushiromia peeps consist of more than just these peeps. These are just the peeps that are gonna board this specific plane. Wow, there's gonna be a lot of people to remember. As Lily had waited up for us all together, an announcement rang out through the lobby. Our apologies for the wait. Boarding will now commence for, the f for flight 201 to Nijima. We ask that pass the passengers please from two lines in, the, in front of the counter, behind the white line. Rosa, you still haven't gone through boarding procedures, right? Hurry up. <gasps> no. Maria, come on. Ah! <laughs> you have to go through a metal detector before going out on the runway. Okay. Our small plane wasn't as massive as an international flight, but it was still a plane. A staff member holding a metal detector checked us all. Ah, nobody, nobody had proper metal in there. We're good. Nobody carrying a gun or something. <laughs> Once all of us cleared the check, we followed the staff member out onto the runway. Come to think of it, everyone here is in the Ushiromia family. Well, even the staff member? It's like this is a reserved charter flight or something. Our group stopped in front of the entrance to the airplane. Then, our guide turned around and spoke, looking down at the passenger's list as she did. Okay. Boarding will now commence. As I call out the names on the passenger list, please take your seats in order, starting from the front row on the right side and going right to left, and on to the next row. Okay. I will now begin reading the passenger list. This is a good way to uh, help us re remember all their names. That's smart. That's smart from the game. That's smart. Ushirume Hideyoshi. Uh, from the visual novel, not the game. <laughs> oh, I'm first! <laughs> right here. By the way, do you have the candies, Eva? Eva? I've been looking all over for them, but I can't find them. Ushiromiya Eva. Huh? Guess they're sitting right next to each other anyway. They're in my handbag. I'll get them once we're inside the plane. I've heard that candies are a good way to protect your ears from hur hurting due to variations in atmospheric pressure when uh, landing or taking off. Ah, yeah, okay. That's probably wha what they're talking about. Right, they're not talking about actual candy candy, they're talking about stuff to protect their ears. If I get a window seat... <laughs> yeah, don't worry. There aren't any other kinds of seats. Oh, really? Okay. Interesting plane, then. Uh, well, if okay, it's a small plane, then I guess it makes sense. Uh, yeah. hmm? It should have at least two seats, though. No, it should have two seats, even if it is a small plane. I don't know. According to George Aniki, there are apparently only two lines of seats. Yep, it's a small plane, alright. Yeah, but two lines of seats, but it should be like two seats in each line. 
right? It isn't really good to shake, is it? What if the plane crashes and the, the visual novel ends there? They all die, boom. Ishirumiya George. Right here. Don't worry, Battler. He won't shake too much. How, does she, how, how did he know what I was thinking? I didn't say it out loud, did I? <laughs> Ishiruma Battler. Uh, Aniki. How much is not to do much? You can't just swim if you fall from a boat. But if a plane crashes, you're screwed, right? <laughs> we don't get our own parachutes in our seats, don't we? Wait, we don't? Ushiroma Rudolph Sam. I mean, unless the pilot is very incompetent or some, shen or some shenanigans happened, which is likely because this is a visual novel, and shenanigans, I guess, is meant to happen. Unless, uh,. It's gonna be just a boring story of people hanging out, which it could be. Uh, planes don't often crash, um, though, although I'm not saying it's impossible, but yeah. Rudolph, your dad. Come on, battler. Quit being a wuss and get in. <laughs> your dad's like, you're a wuss, come on, man. Ow, dad. Don't push me. You don't get parachutes. Ushiromiya Kiriyasama Ushiromiya or Kairi Oh, her name is Kiriya, yeah, that's how she pronounces I'm gonna go with Kiriya from now on instead of Kairi Kiriya Alright, stop fooling around Let's move along Oh, Kiriya Don't push me, but you did the same thing to me, fuck you hypocrite This blockhead isn't moving forward Yeah, he's not being Eren Right now. Ushiromiya Maria. <laughs> forward, forward. For Sushime! Ushiromiya Rosa. Ah, Maria. Be quiet. You're in the plane. This is your pilot, Kawabata. I'd like to thank you for taking New, New Tokyo Aviation's Flight 201 today. We estimate that the flight to Nijima Airport will take about 20 minutes. We are receiving reports of atmospheric turbulence. There might be some shaking of the aircraft, so we ask that you do not unfasten your seatbelts after takeoff. Ah, Anike! You can't can just say we need to wear seatbelts? In a jumbo jet? They'll let you undo them after takeoff. So it's gonna shake, shake so much we can't take them off? Damn it, you tricked me. It is going to shake after all. Where are the parachutes? I knew I should have taken the boat. It's fine, you're not gonna die. Come on now. It'll be fine. The plane's gonna land safely. Ride on, Legend of the Golden Witch. That's the episode we're on right now, right? Chapter or whatever. Am I supposed to click? I'm gonna try clicking. Oh, okay, good thing I didn't. Good thing I didn't. What, what are we seeing now? Battler? Is she Romeo Battler? George, Jessica, my. Oh, wait, who are. Who's Jessica? Is she Romeo Jessica? That's, that's a new name. Is that, an, is that an older cousin or is that a... Is that an aunt? Kraus is another new one. Natsu, he is another new one. More new names. Okay. I guess these are all the members of the Ushiruma family. Okay, these guys we all know at least. That's good. Ooh, okay. Nanjo... Right, that's the doctor, I think. This is the uh, bodyguard guy. And... A bunch of names we've never heard of. I remember those were from part one. I think Nanjo was the doctor, and the Genji guy was like the bodyguard, like how, uh, like butler guy. Oh, Rondo of the Witch and Reason Yumi Neko no Naki Koroni. That might be a good ending point, you know? <laughs> that might be a good ending point. We'll see how far... How far we've gone. Well, I guess we should check the characters first. Oh, here we go. Satur Saturday, October 4th, 1986 at 8 a.m. 
October 4th, 1986. So, this, yeah, this is happening on this. No, Higurashi happened in June 1986, I think. I, ca I can't Google that, but I think it was June 1986. So, around, around similar times. Uh, should I take in the boat? The boat? Nah, you're fine. Okay, let's check. Uh, okay, so I've been playing for about an hour now. Yeah, I have. Um, Saturday, October 4th, 1996. Uh, do we keep going? That is a good ending point, to be fair. We can't check the uh, uh, the grimoire if anything new came up. I don't think, it, I think yeah, nothing new came up. We've read all of this. Last box, so that's good. Uh, wait, there's controls. Uh, characters, we've got a bunch of new characters as you all know. Right, this is the little girl. And then this is the, uh, yeah, fourth shot, yeah, I knew that. Uh, I guess correctly then. Um, Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, it seems like the people related or in the same family are like parallelly dropped dropped here. Uh, I don't know why there isn't a blank box here, as if she doesn't have a dad. Right? This is where the dad is supposed to go, I guess. Right? Because this is Shuma Rosa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did she do another? another is, is she just like Eva, where she, where she forced her husband to change name to Ushiromia? Hmm. Does it say that something along those lines? Before the youngest of the four siblings. Wait, there's four siblings. One, two, three. Oh, there's, right. The first child. We haven't met the first child, have we? No, we haven't. Uh, the youngest of four siblings, it seems that this gives her a weaker position in the fam at the family conference. She manages she manages a design company, but she has yet to start taking it seriously, and its financial situation is far from favorable. Hmm, so it's, this is her daughter, right? Her father's identity is unknown, but her name is Oshiromia. Interesting. She can't shake off the habit of speaking like a young child, which often earns her a scolding. Yeah, she's nine years old. She got. She's. She really has to stop going like oh soon. She has no interest in studying or making friends, but is very interested in things concerning the occ occult and black magic. And thanks to her excellent powers of memorization, she knows all kinds of, of obscure trivia. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, this. Is a good stopping point, I'd say. That's a that's a sick voice crack I just did there. It's 8 p.m. I could keep on going. I I just don't want to like. I don't want to um. Like, end it in the middle of a um. I don't want to end it in the middle of a um um. Let's see. Let's just have all four save points here. I don't want to end it in the middle of um, 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 of, the, of a, like a conversation like last part. I think it's good to end it here on, on a whole new scene, a whole new setting, to be honest. Uh, but you guys can let me know. Why is there 10? Oh, I can have more save files? Oh! Oh, holy crap! I can have 40 save files! <laughs> yeah, I don't need that many. I'll I'll keep these four constant ones. Right, I think, I think that's a good idea for now. Um... I wonder if this game or this visual novel with 641 clicks in. I wonder if, the, I wonder if this visual novel has the um 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 what am I trying to say? I wonder if it has the option. I wonder if yeah, like I, I'm gonna be able to make choices that will like risk people's lives or something like that. Because I know, or like at least change the course of the game or something like that. Because because in a lot of um, these types of games where people talk and you're just like the the bystander or like you you take you take the role of one of the characters and do something. In this case, I'm battler. I don't know if I'm gonna be battler and I'm gonna be able to make a choice of either I don't know. For example, picking Kiri's side over my aunt's side or something like that. I wonder if and if if these choices have consequences. I wonder if something like that exists. We're still, we're still currently in episode 1, chapter 1, uh, very, 
very early on into the game. We haven't even gone to chapter two. There's like six five or six episodes, and I haven't even gone past chapter one, episode one. So, uh, yeah, I'm play playing this game very slowly, I imagine, but I like to give off <laughs> a lot. So, uh, yeah, conflict. I don't think anything is in conflict that is interesting. Um, I am thinking of ending it off there. I am. Um, yeah, because I don't want to, I, I don't want to end it in the middle of everyone talking and stuff. So I think this is a good ending point. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Umineko, uh, when they cry part. I am, um, well, I'm not going to record anymore, um, soon at least. I'm going to try and get this out on Christmas day. So yeah, you guys will have a, will have a, will have a fun time on Christmas day, but uh, I'm gonna try my best to record more Imneko uh, in the near future. Well, as soon as I'm done with my last exam, I'm gonna record some more. Even though new um, new period starts or new um, um, new new semester starts, and you know I'm gonna have new subjects and stuff. So, but still, even then, that's better than having an exam. So I'll, I'll be able to, especially on the weekends, I'll be able to upload more parts. And next year. Unlike this year, I'm not going to be uploading every day. Um, so that's another thing. Uh, I'm gonna make sure to spend time in the weekends whenever I'm not like super, super studying <laughs> all day uh, here in university. And I'm gonna take some time to play this game every so often. That's gonna be, that's this game is, I think is gonna be main thing uh, in the chat for the channel in the coming, uh, for next year at the very least. Because I am done with Final Fantasy X, I hope, I hope I can upload, and uh, edit and upload every single Final Fantasy X part this year, so that 2022, uh, for now, it can just be, you know, Umineko centered. Um, I'm also going to be playing some Rocket League videos, and some matches, that I, some placements that I did, uh, also around a month ago, just haven't uploaded any yet. I'm also going to upload some uh, videos I've made with Joe, again. This is three, four months ago. This is a long time ago I made these videos, but I just haven't uploaded them until now. So yeah, uh, well, not even until I'm not, I'm not even gonna upload these until like two weeks from now. So yeah, um, so that's basically the quick channel rundown. Let me know in the um, in the comments uh, if you like this video as much as people apparently like the first uh, video of uh, of Imineko. Let me know if I'm playing this either too fast paced or too slow paced. I do feel like I am being very, very slow paced. I'm like I feel like I'm taking a long time <laughs> to get through, to get to this point. I feel like I've, I've been playing this game for what, two hours according to, to the game itself? Two, two hours, 45 minutes. I feel like by this point I should be way, way further along to the game than I currently am. But I'm enjoying it. I'm taking my time, you know, I'm, I'm taking my time, you know, Trying to grasp the, the situation of everything. I think that's better than rushing it uh, than anything. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm also going to. <laughs> I'm gonna end this as soon as possible so that that late time isn't completely bloated. But uh, yeah, I I, ima I imagine it's gonna quickly go up to the hundreds. <laughs> Considering I'm two hours, almost three hours into the game, I'm kind of messing around a lot, and we've. I feel like we've barely gotten into the game. So. Uh, this series ends up being, I don't know, this if this ends up being longer than Persona 5 Royal, there you go, y'all. <laughs> God damn, if this ends up being that long, okay, I got, I got, I, I really gotta start making these parts faster paced. But I just, I love enjoying my games. I love taking my time with games. So, yeah. Uh, ex expect these for now but let me know in the comments if you want me to go a bit faster paced i can always do that of course uh i just try to crack jokes in between lines every so often and uh yeah uh other than that i think i've said everything i wanted to say mm, yeah i think i think that's it i think we're gonna find out uh more about this Ushiromiya family. We saw some name in the credits uh, just a second ago. So I'm guessing there's more. 
there's more to, to this going on, more to this family. There's more to find out. Um, we're currently in Nijima, according to them, or according to the game and everything. We finished boarding the, the plane. We're here now. So, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited, can't wait. Um, I'm, I'll try to record a new part as soon as I can, but I might not be able to until next year or January next year. So enjoy this. Like I might be, I might, I probably will upload this on Christmas. So enjoy this little Christmas special thing for now, I guess. And uh, if 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 this continues to get the same good reception that my first Iminako part got. I will keep making these, I will, I'm, and I am enjoying them, so yeah. But uh, for sure I'll try to go faster paced, for sure, I think that's I think that's my biggest takeaway from all of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, I gotta go, uh, yeah, 8pm, I'm gonna go make some food, <laughs> and then uh, and then I gotta travel, I'm gonna take a train and travel today, so I packed, packed my things, I also gotta pack... Uh, this laptop right now because I'm playing this game on a laptop believe it or not uh, I'm gonna take a little train ride so gonna make some food real quick and head out it's gonna be a night train yes uh, so yeah en enjoy this for now Merry Christmas Happy New Year etc all that I'm not gonna say this in any other video because I don't think I'm gonna record any videos after this for the rest of the year so yeah all right everybody I'll see you guys in the next Iminako part. Hopefully, whenever I, I get back, uh, I can record. Well, I'm, I'm done with the exam. Uh, I can record, you know, more often and pump these out more. But for now, this is it. Uh, enjoy, enjoy these little crumbs while they're here, <laughs> I guess. Alright, y'all. Peace.